Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I've been recently deciding to open up my phone lines. I have phone, phone, that's phone, that's my ring. Phone. Hello, friend. Hey, what's up? It's uh, protocol from the chat room. It's protocol. Hey, what's up? Uh, how you doing? I'm doing uh, good. How are you doing? I had a question about uh, maybe a problem you might have had in the past. I've experienced once with a PC I've repaired. And uh, have you ever had a computer plugged into the, the wall directly, no surge bar, no kind of protection, nothing? And if so, what happened to it? Does it, like, still work, or I've, how'd that work out? Yeah, I've definitely done that before, and it was my own stupidity. I had an iMac G5 uh, plugged directly into the wall socket, no surge protector, no UPS or anything, no protection barrier between the computer and the electrical circuit. And one day, I remember, yeah, I came back and tried to boot up the Mac, and it didn't work at all. I took it back into the Mac store, or the Apple store, and they restored the hard disk. It was fine, at least from all the diagnostics. But from that point forward, the computer was kind of flaky, specifically with the wireless card that was installed in it, the uh, airport. And uh, yep. it, it still worked, but just not the same way. So I was lucky. I was lucky that the computer didn't get fried. Uh, but I was also unlucky because I was just stupid. I didn't have any kind of surge protection at all. Not even the most basic $5 surge protector you could pick up at a department store. So, yeah, I, I always I always recommend it. But it's just like, you know, the geeker you are, you, you always tend to give advice and then you forget it when it comes to your own, like, world and lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, I, I know what you mean. All right. Well, thanks, Protocol. Yep, thanks for answering the question. I'll see you in chat, and see you later. Sounds good. Yeah, Protocol is one of a... I guess he's a community guy at large, just another technologist just like the rest of us at live.perillo.com. Phone! Phone! I guess this is Bone. another call. Bone. This is Chris. Hello. This is Ghosty1212 from the chat room. Okay. Um, I have a question. Um... What is um the difference between 32-bit operating systems and 64-bit? Ah, that's a good question. It's in relation to the code as it interacts with the processor specifically, or the system specifically. Um, okay. So when programmers develop code, they have the ability to pass along uh, strings of information in chunks. So a 32-bit chunk has this much information, and a 64-bit chunk has this much information. So twice, twice the amount, 32 times 2 is 64. And when you're able to address the processor in bigger chunks, you're able to do different things. You're able to access more hardware. Uh, there are certainly limitations at this point, mostly theoretical limitations, with 64-bit uh, platforms compared to 32-bit platforms. Um, but it's in relation to the processor, it's in relation to the code, it's all these things kind of have to work together. Uh, way back when, with Windows, there was a big leap between 16-bit and 32-bit code. 32-bit code was certainly more stable than 16-bit code because a large part of 16-bit code was running on a 32-bit processor. So it is possible in theory to um, have uh, a lower code standard run on a higher bit platform I know I, that's probably not stating it as properly as I could, but essentially what I'm saying is you could run 16-bit code on a 64-bit processor in theory, but you could not run 64-bit code on a 16-bit processor or 32-bit processor. So it, it can go one way but not the other. All right, thanks. Hey, no okay. problem. No problem at all. The issue with uh, Windows in relation to 64-bit versus 32-bit is that uh, Windows hasn't handled the transition to 64-bit uh, platform very well at all. Of course, OS 10 Mac is already there, and they're already talking about making that leap further to 128-bit. So uh, we'll see what happens. 888 Perillo, 888 I'll do my best to answer your question. You know what I should do? I should Twitter this here. I'm going to Twitter it. Twit taking better not twit it because I'm, I'm sure if I do that then people who want to yell at me will call in and, and then it'll just be sad um, yeah so let me uh, while you guys are working on this let me show you that was my voice by the way that phone ring on these phones I have the ability to plug in 
my headset, and of course, if someone calls in now, uh, bone, bone, bone. All right, bone. This is Chris. Hope that answers your question. Here, let me try to do this again here. Of course, if I can stick it in there. Alright, so this is a, a Panasonic KX TGA 5, 571S Bone. phone, and Bone. you're gonna call in again. Bone. This is Chris. Listen to me, not the live stream. Don't don't listen to the live stream. Listen listen to your phone. Hello? We have monkeys. Monkeys? Hello? Mon monkeys? I, I think someone someone hit the wrong button. Alright, uh, let me go in to the ringer, custom ring, record. And now that's my phone ring. So if I hit save, save. Now, if you call in, instead of saying, oh, maybe not. <laughs> well, it's ringing, but apparently I mis misrecorded it. This is Chris. Hey, Chris, combo call. First of all, can you hear me? I can hear you fine. All right. <clears throat> I'm on my pad this time. I was wondering, have you ever had a totally unrelated piece of uh, hardware cause a complete stability issue failure in a computer such as maybe a Ethernet card? Wait, what kind of failure? An Ethernet card cause a complete stability issue in a computer. I don't know if it's been a complete stability issue. I mean, certainly I've had issues with network cards in the, in the past uh, few years. It's not been a problem uh, in, uh, in recent memory, but I remember way back when um, when network cards did not come baked onto the motherboard, uh, sometimes you ran into platform issues, stability issues, but never really anything that would take everything down. Um, if anything, maybe a saturation in network traffic may kind of slow the computer to a crawl, but uh, I don't know, do you, are you, have you been running into a certain problem, it, and do you believe it's in relation to... Well, yeah, yesterday I had a computer come in, and I asked the owner, because she said it was crashing like crazy, and I asked the owner uh, what she recently did to the computer, and she said all she did was put an Ethernet card in. So sure enough, I go, I look for the driver, I find the driver, check the driver, it's fine, I check the Ethernet port, it's fine, everything's working. And sure enough, I connect to the Internet, and it goes down. Huh. <laughs> so the uh, first thing I did was to make sure it was the Ethernet card. I took the Ethernet card out, uninstalled the drivers, and after that, the machine ran beautifully. What kind of card was it? It was a Netgear. Uh, I don't remember the model number. I'd have to find the darn thing. Weird. Wait a minute. How come she... So, the wait. Her computer doesn't have an, an Ethernet port on it? I'm sorry. My edge connection is going AP. Well, she has one built into the motherboard, <laughs> but she said that the one that was on the motherboard was in a 10100, which I checked it. Oh, so yeah, she, I was. she wanted a gigabit then instead of... Uh, a... Apparently. Okay. Um, I don't know. If, if she XP Vista. XP Home Edition. Boy, I can't. It's got to be some kind of conflict then uh, with the driver. When you update, when you updated the driver, did you go to Windows Update to see if it had the latest driver that was uh, WHQL certified? Here's I look. I, I look straight. I go to straight to the manufacturer of the whoever. <laughs> piece of hardware I'm looking to uh, install and see if they have that update first. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times the, the updates from Windows can be generic updates and they can cause more stability issues in the Really? World. See, that's what everybody in the chat room is saying too. G Data lore, KTech. I never, I, maybe I'm crazy, but I never had an issue with Windows updated drivers. Never. I'm, may, I, but again, I'm, you know, hey, I may be the only one. I, I am kind of nutty that way. But I've never really heard of a network card uh, doing something like that, um, you know, taking down the system. Maybe it's conflicting with the onboard uh, motherboards. 
Well, driver, yeah, you. Uh, it it might be, and it could be an issue where the the driver just uh, is is trying to access. And well, yeah, go ahead, try doing that. Disable if you can in the BIOS uh, the onboard network card, and see what happens. I mean, I, I'm assuming you may have tried that, in, it, in which case, man, I I don't know what to tell you other than trying a different kind of network card. <laughs> Okay, well, I, I thought it'd be an interesting question. <laughs> it is an interesting question, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> All right, take care, man. You too. All right, bye. Let me try recording that ringtone again. Yeah, I remember uh, I had a hub way back when with my first uh, home network, and man, that was a pain in the ass. And so were the network cards way back when. Oh, it was horrible. I don't even think they had PCI network cards back then. All right, re custom ring, record. Well, yeah. Okay, so. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. See, so I can play it back. So now we'll save, save, and it'll do that. Like, hey, Wicket, what's up? You, you have a question? You have a question, Wicket? Just ask away. 888 Perillo, 888 You want to. What? Oh, I didn't. I I saved the ring, but I, I didn't change it. Sorry, Pebcak. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. This is Rad from the channel. Howdy. Um, I'm actually asking a question for a friend of mine, seeing as how his computer is incapacitated. But he's having this problem where he just installed Windows XP, and it's been running fine for probably four days, <laughs> and then. He got this problem. It said unsurmountable boot volume. Do you know what that happens to mean or how he can fix it? Unsurmountable? Something like that. Like, um, um, it was kind of like what's referred to as the blue screen of death, hmm. except it popped up and it was black and it said, uh, like dumping C drive or something or dumping virtual memory. Uh, it, do you mean insurmountable? Unsurmountable? Yes, do you... insurmountable. Yeah. Um,. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, something got messed up, possibly in the master boot record, if it doesn't know where the operating system is. Uh, sounds like at least some kind... Well, sounds like the operating system, or at least the core components of it, are loading. Otherwise, you wouldn't even be getting an error message at all. So you see this, this black screen before Windows has a chance to boot up, correct? Uh, no, <laughs> it will boot all the way he'll be sitting on his desktop or something, he'll go to open a demanding program, like maybe he'll want to run Counter-Strike Source, he'll, or he'll want to run Fear, or some type of very demanding game, hmm. and then his computer uses that. His computer uses that? Well, it uses as in it switches from what he was trying to do to that screen, saying that there's a problem and it's doing the dump. Uh, in mount double boot volume. Boy, oh boy, so you're actually in Windows. I'm looking for that specific error, and I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing insurmountable, and I doubt I'm going to find unsurmountable. Um, I might. Hang on. Unsurmount... Of course, I'm looking this up on my Mac. <clears throat> oh, maybe you're right. You might be right. Unsurmountable boot volume. Um, second ID... It looks like it could be hard, hardware related. BSOD, unsurmountable boot volume, means that the hard drive can't be seen as raw fat or NTFS, which is the format of. The file system is damaged and can't be mounted. Can also be due to a cable error. Check that. So. Try this from a command prompt. It suggested. I'm just. This is just a quick Google search. Check disk forward slash r. That might help. Uh, and the next thing is, is, it may be a cable error. So try replacing the cable. And if those two things uh, don't fix the problem, um, it may be a, a bigger issue. So chk dsk forward slash r at the command prompt. And then if that doesn't work, try checking and changing the cable. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Thanks a lot, bud. It's no problem. My Google Foo is now at nine. Right. <laughs> Very nice. Right. Take care, man. You too. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Well, I think we've done enough phone calls for now. We'll have to do more later.
Come by. Chat room anytime, day or night. We're there. Twenty. What are you doing, Wicket? What the hell are you doing? Live.perillo.com.